Have you ever used um, rubber stamps and a stamp pad before? Because that's kind of what we're going to be doing today in class. Hi, my name is Lauren. I am the owner of Yellow Bobby Pins Art Camp, and I wanted to drop in and give you a fun project to play with your kids today. It is a form of printmaking, and that's really all rubber stamps are. So come on, let's go on a journey together. So today you're going to need a mirror. Um, it could be, this one's a very, an art mirror. It's a non-breakable one. You can get these off of Amazon, but really all you need is any kind of mirror. It could be a handheld mirror. It could be the mirror in your bathroom and you use masking tape, uh, masking tape, and you tape off a section of what you're going to let the kids paint. I know, I know that's asking for trouble, but you know, you got to play. So Today I have my paint already set up and I chose colors that are similar to each other because you think about it, red and yellow are primary colors. If you mix red and yellow, you get orange and pink is part of red because you just add white. So I tried to keep my colors in the same color family. It'll make it easier when I come to paint my print today. And then I've gathered paper. Now I'm going to take my print, which when I print it, um, I will glue it to the surface and make a card to mail. I have some different size cards today. I have a smaller card and I've already pre-cut the paper for that card. I also have just some plain big paper, regular size paper that I just grabbed from the printer. And then I have a lot of different paint brushes. I really try with this project not to use any water. Um, and I try just to get a different brush for every color rather than wash in between because it's really hard for littles to get their brush dry, even if they do get it clean, to get it dry. And this kind of paint, which is tempera paint. Now, I'm using Sargent Art, Art Time. Um, you could use a poster paint, which is really the same thing. I do not recommend watercolor paint. Okay, so these guys, the old school classics, we may use something like this for a different project, not this week. But this week, we're going to try to stick with just tempera paint. It is washable paint. Um... So that part's always mama's helper. I've grabbed some wipes to have close by because I'm working in a space where I might get it on my hands and I don't wanna have to jump up and wash my hands. I have my glue ready for my cards here in a minute. Now I have a fancy little palette. You don't have to use a palette. Grab a plate, grab something out of your kitchen. This paint is washable. It's not gonna hurt anything. Um, so let's get started today. Printmaking, which involves rubber stamps, and you take a raised surface, you stamp it, and you stamp it to another surface, you can repeat that process a lot of times with a rubber stamp. The process we're doing today is called a monoprint because you can only use it one time. Now, I have to think and choose which size paper am I going to use, and I think for my first one, I'll use the big paper. And I choose my first color. And I just start working out whatever it is I want to print. Now, the fun thing about a mono print is that your brush strokes are just as important as your design. So you'll see as I'm painting that, well, actually, you'll probably see it even more when I print it. I'm going to come along, and I love abstract. Um, it's my first language as an artist. So I'm just gonna paint some designs. Now, as you work with your children, maybe there's something in their schoolwork that they're learning about, and you want to encourage them to paint something similar to what they're learning about in school. This could be a really great project to paint the planets. Of course, here I am thinking in circles. Circles are what I love. Um, it could be really fun to paint the parts of a flower this way if you're working on biology. This is a really fun project for little bitty kids. My child, as young as three, um, would come along and follow this whole process, and she could do it completely on her own once I set the materials out. She really enjoyed being able to do the process by herself, and as long as I left her enough paper, she was always very happy to print multiple copies. She really enjoyed the process. So, I've not washed my brush. I've used lots of different brushes. Um, if you do wash your brush, you wanna grab a paper towel and wipe it dry because drips and water make this um, 
this paint flow and it will mess up your mirror in a like it'll mess up your picture on your mirror and your picture will start to melt down the mirror um so let's see let's get a few other little designs happening here now i've left a few spots blank on the mirror i'm pretty pleased with it overall let's get a piece of paper and a mono print means you can do it one time so i'm going to lay my paper right on top and then start to rub and you need to rub all the corners if you're using a round mirror this one's really fun I love 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 different shape mirrors and you could come up with some really neat designs so as I pull this off let's see what our picture looks like and there you have it now the big ones like this I'll probably just set off to the side to dry tomorrow or in our next lesson, we're going to be using some of the designs from today or just another big piece of artwork um, to create a, a hanging piece of art using a stick and some weaving, some beads, that kind of thing. So you can get ready with your project for tomorrow by making some things today. I'm just using my baby wipe to get it clean. You could quick run to the sink, wash it off that way, um, and I'm ready to go again. Depending on your child, now my three-year-old did not wash the mirror, I promise you that, but it still worked just fine. So let's do a different one. Let's say, you know, I'm gonna use orange construction paper for my card and I've already glued my paper inside for my note. I've pre-cut this so I know what size it is. I could tape off so I only print something that big. I think I'll just guess today. I could paint something that someone might like to see on a card for example, a heart could be a really fun design. Let's see, now remember, your brush strokes are going to be seen in the end. So maybe we'll do kind of an orange flower. Clearly, I need to grab another paintbrush because I'm not using my pink right now. Ooh, that could be really fun, let's see. So I feel like I've, yeah, I think I've filled up the paper pretty well. Set the paper on top, and again, rub to transfer your mono print. It's a print that you can only do one time. There's only one of it in the world, and that kind of turned out really cool. You put it on the orange paper once it's dry and glue it in place. That would be a lovely card for someone. Now, I want to show you one more technique here. Uh-oh. Baby wipes got all, all messed up here. Oh, well. The last technique I want to show you is a way that you can use a stencil. So I've got my last card here. I've got some papers cut so that there's paper, there's a little bit of extra at the bottom. I like that design. You could cut it so there's equal amounts all the way around. Um, for my moms of elementary kids, this is a fabulous measuring exercise. There is a lot of math involved in this and figuring out what would be um, the difference between the small one and the large one and how do you wanna cut it and all that good stuff. So let's get started today. Clearly I need just a small corner. I'm gonna come and use a drier space and I'm going to go more for pattern on this one or just a design because I've cut a small, I've cut some hearts out and in a minute I'm gonna put those on top of my painting. Get this show in the road. Mono prints are something that artists have used for centuries to create a print that you only see one time. Now, regular printmaking you might see on a t-shirt. That's screen printing. It's not done with a mirror. I just use a mirror because it's a quick surface. So I finished my painting. I'm gonna set my heart on top. You could use one, two, however many you like. And then I'm going to put my paper on top and rub so that I transfer all that awesome painting. Now notice I got a little bit on the back and I've got some on my finger. If this is bothersome to you, feel free to wipe it off and try again. I don't mind it so much because I'm going to be gluing um, this card down and nobody's even going to see the back of this picture here in a minute. 
and voila there you go there you have it these are fun and I can glue it right to the middle of my card here once it's dry I totally want to wait till it's dry because otherwise that's a hot mess to do it that way I hope you enjoy working today feel free to drop me a question in the comments feel free to shoot me a message and share pictures of your projects and how they turn out today hope it's an awesome day for you